Welcome to Take On Television. I'm Andy Beanstock with Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun. Dave, unfortunately, Baltimore is back in the cable news discussion this week. Yeah, Andy, in the cable news wheelhouse, in this daily cycle of stories, not just that they report, but that they keep repeating and that they hype up and I think in some ways even exaggerate. It's interesting because things did quiet down a little bit in terms of cable news coverage of post Freddie Gray activity in the city. And now it's all over it again. Tuesday night, Megan Kelly, the second highest rated show on Fox, she has a very big audience, really went off on this email that State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby sent directing police to the neighborhood where Freddie Gray was arrested. The language of it uh, was, we now have this blockbuster document, and they labeled it a Kelly File exclusive. It had been reported, but the Sun had reported it about 12 hours earlier. I'm guessing other people in town reported it as well. It's outrageous that they would label it an exclusive, but they really went on and they have it uh, on Wednesday. They had it up on their website. They were really pushing this story. And the way they tell it in this heightened tabloid language makes it sound like a semi out of controlled civic leadership situation in Baltimore, which is really troubling. Then on Wednesday, you get Brooke Baldwin over on CNN saying that she met in a, quote, undisclosed location in Maryland with two veteran Baltimore police officers, and they show them in shadows, in hoods, with the garbled voices. And what, But what those police officers are saying to her is really interesting because this is where the narrative now resides that's being told to the nation. The police officers are saying, look, you folks want a gentler, softer, kinder kind of policing in Baltimore? Well, you've got it now because we're not proactive at all. And you know what? The door is open. The space has been created for bad people to settle scores with each other and do all these things now that they're doing. And Andy, when I heard him talking, maybe it was the way the voices are garbled and how sinister and ominous all of it sounds. But I said, this is serious stuff. This is the fundamental of power. Who controls the community? The civic, the elected officials, or the people really with the guns? I mean, this happens in military juntas, in military takeovers in country. That's as raw as it gets, and that's how Baltimore is being depicted. And I think that has profound effects on our image nationwide. That's Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun. I'm Andy Veenstock for Take On Television on WIPR.